Hi, I'm Carolyn Carter, the Certification Tools Product Manager at Fluke Networks. And today, I'm going to show you the FI3000 Fiber Inspector Ultra and how it works with single fiber. Um, now, the nice thing about the Fiber Inspector Ultra is it works with both mobile devices and Versiv. Today, we're going to focus on Versiv, so I'm going to put my mobile device away. Um, the first thing you need to do is turn on your camera, and you do that by pressing the little on switch on the back. And when it's on, you'll see that a little blue light comes on and it starts blinking. That means you're on. Now to connect it to Versive, I'm going to use a USB cord to connect it. You will we'll notice that my Versive today is a non-wireless Versive. Standard Versive is wirelessly enabled, but there's a lot of areas where you cannot use um, wireless, um, such as data centers and other locations. So we have a non-wireless version you can use. What you're going to do is you're going to connect it to your camera via this USB cord. So just connect it on the USB cord on Versive, and then the USB-C side goes on to the FI3000, and we are connected. And you know we're connected because you just heard the beep. So now, uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to put on the single fiber adapter onto the camera um, to accept the uh, single fiber tips so I can inspect something such as this single fiber TRC, which is an encircle flex multi-mode TRC. So I'm gonna take the adapter, it's keyed, keep turning it until the key goes on, which it just did, and then and you can see it's on nice and tight. Now we have this optional set of FI1000 tips, which gives you both a um, 1.25 and a 2.5 patch cord and bulkhead tip. Since we're going to be inspecting a multi-mode patch cord, um, I'm going to get take out the 2.5 patch cord tip, and it just goes right here on the uh, single fiber adapter, and it's keyed also. And so now, we are set up for single fiber inspection. The camera, single fiber adapter, and right now I'm using a 2.5 patch cord um, tip. So we're set up. The next thing I need to do now is to actually set up my Versive unit itself. So I'm gonna do that by sitting here and clicking on to the test mode and saying new test. And it comes up with what type of module I can choose from my DSX Cable Analyzer, CertiFiber Pro, OptiFiber Pro, or the Fiber Inspector Pro. Since this is a Fiber Inspector, I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Um, it tells me what type of test type. Again, we're going to do Fiber Inspection. We have test limits. By default, we use document only, because most of the time when you're doing fiber inspection, you just want to know, it's a proof of quality test. Is this fiber in face clean, or is the fiber in face dirty? You do have the option of um, using different limits, and just for the heck of it today, we are going to use the IEC 61300-3 multi-mode um, limit. That's going to give us pass-fail. You also then have a selection of um, the fiber in type. Um, we have single fiber for single fiber inspection, one fiber, or if you're doing MPO, you have all the different MPO from 1.8 all the way down to 2 by 16 or 32 fibers. But today, since I'm doing single fiber, I do want to make sure I'm selecting the one fiber. Simple, just say done. That's all there is to it. I'm going to press save and say you selected, and I'm ready to go. The only other thing I might want to do is change my cable IDs. Um, right now, the cable ID is set up for MPO because, again, the FI3000 will do both MPO or single fiber in faces. Um, I've already set up a different cable ID, so I'm going to change it to single fiber, 01 through 99, and say you selected. Um, which one am I starting on? I'm going to start on three, so I'm going to say done. And now I'm all set up. I'm, my test is a fiber inspection multi-mode test type for a single fiber. I'm using a single fiber cable ID. If I wanted to, I could put my operator name in, but I'm not going to bother with that today. And so it, let's go ahead and press test and start. Um, one thing to understand about this is this camera is set up for an MPO or single fiber. And to have an MPO um, result, I need to have a very wide screen. So when I actually now hook up to a single fiber in face, it's going to look really small because that is a very wide angle screen or camera, and this is a single fiber. 
I'm gonna press autofocus on the camera right here, or I could press autofocus on the verse of itself, and it autofocuses around that. Now that looks again really small because that's a single fiber where an MPO could be something like 32 fibers. One really cool thing is we have something called live view on the FI3000. And so that means I can zoom in, I can see this in real time. So if I move this fiber, you can see that it moves in real time, which is really nice. Now, honestly, I probably don't need to inspect any further on this because I can see there are some big chunks of dirt or debris of some sort, and I would typically go ahead and clean it, and we have different cleaners available, which I'll show you shortly. But let's, for the heck of it, let's go ahead and press analyze. Uh, again, it's going to autofocus the camera and then test it. And then once it's done with the test, it's going to send the results from the camera to the versive. And you can see here that I am failing in multiple ways. I have this big clump of some type of debris. And then more importantly, um, I have some um, dirt in the core. That itself is, means I, I would have to clean it and go forward. But the other nice thing that we have is we have some really cool options. So you see down below it says overlays, fix later, test again. If I press the overlay button, I can now change what I see on the screen. Maybe I don't want to see the pass fail highlights or the rings or the scale. I just want to see the image itself. So I can click those off, say OK, and now I have a high resolution version of that image. Really nice if I want to see the details. But maybe I do want the scale and I want the rings. I can go ahead and I can put them on and I can turn things on or off. So it makes it very nice. The other thing the FI3000 gives you is it gives you the image or you can look at it from a defect point of view using the different zones as defined by the standard. So in this case, there's three zones. There's um, uh, limits for both the scratches and defects. And you can see here that I am failing in zone A on defects because I have more than three that are five microns large. And as you can also see, I have here on um, zone D, I'm also failing because I have one particle of debris that is greater than 30 microns large. That's pretty darn big. So you can have your choice. Do you want to see it mathematically or do you want to see it from an image point of view? So another nice feature is we also have the button fix later. When I do this, this lets me save my image. So right now it came up with a next um, cable ID, which is 03. If I wanted to go to 05, I can. And I can also change the end. Is this in one or in two of the fiber? If I wanted it in two, I would just press in two. And now I can go ahead and save. Or if I wanted to test again, I can just press test and test again. All right, and so now we've just finished. We have saved the image. So the nice thing about this, though, is it is using Versive. So Inversive gives you the whole flexibility for all your certification needs, whether you're testing fiber inspection, you're doing copper, OTDRs, OLTS. The Versive platform gives you everything you need with one UI, makes it easy to use um, for all of your certification needs. That's the FI3000 Fiber Inspector Ultra. It does both MPO and single fiber inspection. Um, and with that, have fun going out and doing your fiber inspection testing. <laughs>